First of all, uh, it's nice, nice to be in this great building. I'm always appreciative of you guys taking the day, coming here, and spending it with us. Um, it's my four, fourth media day. Is that it, Kevin? My fourth. Yes, sir. So I'm a very fortunate uh, head coach here. Uh, I love Rutgers. I say that all the time. I mean it. I love the place. I love this building. Uh, my son now is a freshman here um, at the university, my oldest son, so I'm proud of that. Uh, but I'm also very thankful to all the people that worked really hard um, to make this building possible, the donors, um, RWJ Barnabas, uh, Pat Hobbs, and the work that they have done to give us a great venue here to have a media day. So I'm very thankful. Uh, all the hard work. Uh, this building has paid dividends already and it's going to continue to in the future. I'm very excited about this season. I'm very excited about my team. I always try to say this though, just don't tell them, okay? Don't tell the guys. Uh, this is my one time where I could brag about them, but it's early in the season here. I don't want to brag about them too much because I need them to play really good defense and, and do all the things that they need to do. I first, uh, want to talk about the success that we've had in the classroom. We have a 3.1 team grade point average, which is by far the highest we've ever had. Um, every senior that I've coached um, has graduated with their degree, and there's a lot of people to thank for that. It's not just me. Um, I'm very thankful, too, for my staff. I got an unbelievable staff, and um, I lost one guy last year, Jay Young. He's the head coach at Fairfield. I'm very proud. Um, that he's off on his own and he got a really good job and a really good opportunity, but I'm very thankful. I have Carl Hobbs, who is an excellent coach. Uh, Brandon Knight, I think the best young coach in America. Um, Steve Hain now has been elevated, has done an unbelievable job and uh, really has made the transition seamlessly. And then I have, you know, lucky to have Shoes Vitron and lucky to have Ben Asher, who handles all our media and social media and videos and all the different things that he does for us. And we now have Mike Larkin and um, TJ Thompson, a great player that I coached at George Washington University here on staff. Um, so we get a really great staff. And then Dave Van Dyke at Remus does an unbelievable job with our guys physically. Uh, Rich, our trainer, who does an unbelievable job keeping our guys on the court. And then Randy's really the head coach, Randy Larson, of our academics. She does an unbelievable job. So surrounded by a really good staff and been able to keep them. So every year they want to steal them, and every year we keep them. Um, I'm very thankful, you know, to have that continuity here, you know, at Rutgers. And, and very thankful for the job that you guys have done. You guys have been great to me, and, and, and I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, an unbelievable season this year. I want to thank the season ticket holders. We're up again at season tickets. Uh, today we ran around and saw a bunch of students on campus. Um, the riot squad and, and the cheerleaders and the dance team and all the people that make the rack one of the toughest places and hopefully continue to be one of the toughest places in the country for opposing teams, uh, you know, to play. And, and students play a huge role in that. They come to games, they make it loud, uh, they do an unbelievable job uh, uh, making it that kind of venue. So very thankful to that. And that's our marketing team, too, does an unbelievable job and all the ticket offices and all, all the people that play a, play a role in that. Um, so I'm you know, excited again about this year. We're, we're right around the corner. Um, it's the best league in the country. I know you guys say, I say that all the time. Eight teams got in the NCAA tournament. It's, you know, like no one else had eight teams in the league. I can only tell you it's the hardest place in the country to go on the road and win games. It's the 44th year, I think it is, Kevin, of the league led college basketball in attendance. 44 years running, the Big Ten has led the whole nation in, in attendance. So these venues are as tough to play at as possible. Hall of Fame coaches, first round draft picks, lottery picks. I mean, that's what this league is about. And it's the best time of the year for college basketball. And we play some of the best college basketball teams traditionally in the country. Um, again, we have another schedule that's, you know, will be one of the toughest in the Big Ten, will be one of the toughest in the country. Um, but I like my team. We got two seniors. Uh, we're a little bit young, um, but our young guys have played a lot of minutes. Uh, we got versatility. We got a little bit more than we've had in the past. And, you know, I look forward to all the challenges and I look forward to the, you know, the marathon that the season is and all the different turns that the season takes. And, I look forward to those challenges of figuring out how to play 
uh, the fastest paced team in the league in Michigan one night and then a couple days later one of the teams in our league that plays the slowest pace in the country. I look forward to the challenges that go into the preparation for those but uh, you know feel really really good about the season excited. I like my uh, captains Geo Baker and Shaq Carter. I think our leadership has been good. Knock on wood we've been we've been healthy too which is very important uh, to the season. Um, you know, I really like my junior class. I think that we've added a few guys, but I think the guys that have returned have gotten better. Um, you know, so I'm looking forward to, you know, Jacob Young and Peter Kiss, um, Geo Baker in, in, in that class have done some good things. And then our two big guys, Miles and, and Mamadou in that uh, sophomore class to go along with uh, Ron Harper and uh, Caleb McConnell um, and Montez Mathis. And then, you know, Paul Mulcahy. And we have a couple other guys too that, um, you know, Joey Downs have played vital roles for what we're doing. Daniel Lobach, another freshman who won't play this year because of a knee injury. Uh, Luke Nathan, uh, Nick Brooks, you know, just, just some really good, good people and really good students and doing a really good job representing our program. So um, I'll pass this on to, to you guys moving forward here. Any questions? Jerry's up. Thanks. Steve, uh, through three years, the, the identity of this program under you has been toughness. You, you lost two very tough guys last year to Dorson and Omar Rui. Is toughness, does it automatically carry on? Does it have to be rebuilt? How do you see the toughness factor with this group? Yeah, um, I think, uh, you know, anytime you build a program, you have to build it around some things. And, you know, certainly uh, toughness is a quality we try to recruit um, because it's not always taught. Um, you know, I really feel like we have some players that are tough. I also feel we need a couple guys to get tougher. So it's going to constantly be a challenge. Um, I think our senior class, and, and I'd be remiss to, you know, I had a quasi Yaboa too in that class, and, and I didn't bring him up before. He's a graduate student, and he's taking grad classes, doing great, and he's going to play a huge role for us too this year. Um, but I like our two seniors. I think they're tough in a quasi in. And Shaq Carter, and I know Paul Mulcahy, the freshman we brought in, one of his great qualities is that toughness. But you never have enough of it, and certainly in this league you need plenty of it. But I think some guys are developing, you know, some habits uh, to be tougher. And, and, you know, I think that's going to be a work in progress as we move forward. But we better figure that out, you know, really quickly, Jerry. Coach, no. you mentioned the versatility. How much is that going to change what we see on the floor and the dynamic of this team this year? Yeah, I mean, this team has been, you know, just just very different than teams in the past. Um, our practices have been way more competitive. I think we're deeper at every position. Um, guys are really fighting for minutes. Um, you know, we got really good length. I think one of our strengths is our length. That's a strength of ours. We get more tips. We get our hands on more balls. We fly around. We can do some different things. We block more shots. Um, but I can play differently, you know, which I like. I didn't have as many options the first three years. When you, when you build a program, you kind of inherit some things, and, and you got to kind of teach and, and learn some things, and then you learn the league a little bit. I didn't have enough, you know, versatility at all, you know, in the last couple of years. I think this year we can go big, we can go small, we can go fast, we can go shooting lineups, we can go driving lineups, we can just do more. So gives me more options, especially as I prepare for, you know, what's the toughest league in the country. You know, the different, uh, you know, the different problems that, you know, the teams in the league pose. So I, I think you'll see that. This is by far our most athletic team, you know, that we've had. It's by far our fastest team. So uh, hopefully that translates into being a better defensive team, better rebounding team, better offensive team. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I like that part of it and, you know, Gives me the challenge of figuring them out and giving us the best chance every game. What style is going to, you know, help us succeed? And, and uh, so there's a little bit of a puzzle, you know, that I got to figure out from game to game too. So uh, I'm excited about that challenge. Hey, coach. Coach, you kind of asked a question I, I wanted to ask in terms of versatility. You said that you want to have a. Um, I heard a quote that you want to have a, a, a team that didn't have a, any set positions. But in the, in, 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 within the Big Ten, which has been known for a rough and tough league, how did you have to adjust because eventually that's what's going to come? I mean, you know, again, it, the league poses so many problems. Every team plays completely different. 
Um, you know, and I only use that first example. We Michigan State plays the fastest pace of anyone in the country. Then we turn around two days later and play Wisconsin plays the slowest pace of any team in the country. Um, you need you need enough players that can make the adjustments from from game to game. But at the end of the day, they're all tough and they're all physical. You know, basketball teams. But you got to try to figure out a way to win each game and. and the versatility of this year's team just gives me more opportunities to, um, you know, use our versatility to help us. In the past, I haven't had that versatility. I haven't had that depth, um, you know, to be able to play the way that I want to play and to be able to try different things during games and what have you. So, you know, I just feel a little bit better now. We're going into uh, games with more, you know, with more solutions to the problems. And uh, so the league certainly throws a lot at you. Yes. You were, you were picked to uh, finish 12th in the conference at Big Ten Media Day. Yeah. You feel that was a fair assessment of where your team is? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I've never ever worried about where you're picked because I don't know how good the other teams are in the league. I know we're better. Uh, but I also think it's a compliment to the league. The league, it's eight teams in the NCAA tournament, probably 10 teams, two more teams were on the bubble last year, could have very easily gotten 10 teams in or nine teams in. You know, so I've been picked, you know, one in my coaching career, I've been picked last. I, I don't ever think any of that stuff matters. So, um, you know, I don't spend a lot of time on it. I actually don't ever bring it up with my players either. You know, it's just hey, if we work hard and do the things we need to do, then we'll win basketball games. If you win basketball games in this league, you go to the NCAA tournament. That's that's what we're kind of at. Coach, hey. uh, in regard to uh, playing more up tempo style this year, uh, how have you prepared the big men uh, for that kind of adjustment uh, in terms of how they've adapted and your confidence level and then being able to adjust to that style? Yeah. You know, I, I think, you know, Dave Van Dyke does a really good job. First of all, starts with your strength and conditioning, um, keeping guys healthy. Um, they're all in good shape. That's the first part that's, you know, been real good. And they've all been healthy. You know, Mamadou's back from his back injury. So we've had, you know, good health. Um, but they got to catch up, you know, speed wise. You know, you play at the speed of your point guard. And when you got fast point guards, you know, you get up the floor if you want to get rewarded. So. I think they've done a really good job. I really like our front court. We're versatile and we're different. And, you know, we've added a quasi Yaboa helps our athleticism. We've added, you know, Jacob Young helps our athleticism get up and down the court. You know, Paul's as good a passer too, which helps our getting up and down the court. Big guys getting rewarded. But Miles in really good shape. Mamadou can run all day. And, um, you know, Shaq Carter's lost weight and is in the best shape of his life too. So. Um, they're able to fly around, and, and I need them to rebound more importantly than anything on both ends of the floor. Hey, Steve, what, what kind of goals have you set for this team this year? And is the NCAA tournament a realistic goal for this team? I mean, every year that's, you know, you set those goals. You know, I like we have, you know, we have more answers to the problems, as I've been saying, uh, that the league poses. Um, but if these guys come together, I like all we have 11 scholarship players. I love them all. Like, I think they all can really help us. But we have to play together as a team. We have to play through foul trouble. You know, early in the season, they're going to be blowing the whistle like crazy. You know, so everyone's got to be ready. You know, last year I played nine different starting lineups. You know, the year before that I played a bunch of more. You know, all 11 of these guys could be starters. You know, so guys going to have to accept if they're not a starter that, you, you know, come off the bench and still do your job because we need everybody. This is going to be one of those teams we need everybody, you, you know, to, to buy in. And, and we can. Yeah, absolutely. I think we can play in the NCAA tournament. But you need to stay healthy. Huge key. And everyone, all 11, have to help. Two more questions. Coach. At uh, Big Ten Media Day, you talked about Ron Harper's ability to take a big leap this season. You said he'll probably be one of the more improved players in the conference. What are you seeing in his game that gives him the ability to take that leap this year? You, you know what I, you know what I really like too. I think since I've been here and since Rutgers, to to the guys' credit, and they're in the back of the room. Uh, you know, guys get better. You know, every year, and take a lot of pride in that. Every guy in the program, you know, has gotten better, and whether it. You know, Shaq Dorson, you guys saw him, and then when he left and he's playing professional basketball now, I think Deshaun Freeman, you know, just kept getting better. Um, Mike Williams I improved tremendously. You know, I think these guys have too. Gio now a junior, most, most improved guy. 
Uh, I think Shaq Carter is going to take that step from last year to this year, much improved. Um, Caleb McConnell, very improved. Montez, you're going to see he's better. Uh, Miles lost 100 pounds in, uh, in the last couple of years. Was it 100 miles back there? You know, a couple pounds, and he's gotten better. And, you know, I think Ron, too, is young, and, and, and Ron's filling in his body, learning how to play. You know, you know just, just guys get better in this program, and, you know, I tell you, too, like Peter Kiss has gotten better from last year to this year. He practices better. He does, you know, just every, everything's better. And uh, Duke is better. So, you know, I take a lot of pride in all of them being better. I think Ron, you know, ended last year, you know, the right way. You saw some of his potential. He's a hard guy to guard, so his versatility is very, um, you know, very important. But, you know, even if you watch a practice last year, Jacob Young, like he's playing defense this year, he's just better, you know. And, and I think that's part to our guys. I've done an unbelievable job just getting better, and we've got to recruit guys that have a will to get better. And they're in the gym now, too. You know, you go upstairs now, the gym's available 24 hours a day. They're in the gym. You know, they're in the gym, and they want to be good, and that's a credit to, you know, credit to those guys for getting better and expect them all to. What so. steps were taken to get your team to that 3.0 GPA this fall? You know, I, I, first of all, again, um, the kids have to do the work, and, and they did an unbelievable job. They were really focused, you know, academically, and, and I'm proud of that. Everyone brings up all the other stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, you're at a great university, and you got to get your degree, and these guys have bought into that, and, you know, certainly our academic, you know, uh, support system here is great, and it's even going to get better when they build the new academic support, uh, you know, building over there. Uh, next to the football stadium, so it's even going to become a bigger uh, priority too uh, to get them the resources that they need. Um, but uh, you know, I'm real proud. The guys made a focus to getting better and better. And we got some really tough majors. We got business school guys. We got engineering. We got a lot of different guys doing a lot of different stuff. And and uh, the fact that they can play at this level and, and and do what they do and still do a great job as a team, um, you know, really 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 proud of that. Okay, guys, again, I appreciate it very much, and I think our players in the back of the room. And make sure you guys get a tour, too, of the building, too. It's, it's, it's spectacular, so very proud of it. Thanks.